now we will click on test because we do not have our live environment we'll just click on test and yes. welcome friends and now let's understand what is aws lambda it is the serverless compute offering from aws and one of the usps one of the unicorns of aws platform so what is aws lambda well aws lambda is an event driven compute service on which you could run any type of application or backend service the only criteria is it has to be event driven and when i say event driven it means that anything which triggers an event like in this video you can see that the guy is switching on the light that is an event he is not going and generating the electricity he is not bothered how the electricity is coming through the wires and then eventually the bulb is uh, getting switched on he is just pressing the switch that's what lambda does for you if you have a you know if you have your application and if you have an event based requirement then aws lambda would Uh, do the job for you. For example, दोस्तों आपको तो पता ही होगा IT में कुछ भी करना है तो क्लाउड आना चाहिए आजकल हर चीज क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग पे डिपेंडेंट है मैंने एक कोर्स बनाया है जो है क्लाउड वन ओ वन ए डब्ल्यू एस फॉर डमीज क्लाउड कुछ भी नहीं पता तो ये कोर्स आपके लिए बहुत अच्छा है अगर आपको क्लाउड पता भी है तो अगर आप एडब्ल्यू सीखना चाहते हैं तो भी ये कोर्स आपके लिए बहुत अच्छा है बिकॉज हमने इसमें बेसिक्स से शुरू किया है क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग के और उसके बाद हम ये एडब्ल्यू के बेसिक सर्विसेज कोर्स सर्विसेज को समझ रहे हैं हम ये भी समझ रहे हैं कि किस तरीके के क्वेश्चन आ सकते हैं क्लाउड प्रैक्टिशनर एग्जाम में और आप कैसे उस सर्टिफिकेशन के लिए अपने आप को प्रिपेयर कर सकते हैं इसमें हम कोर्स सर्विसेज पर फोकस कर रहे हैं और साथ ही साथ हम एक टेलीग्राम ग्रुप के थ्रू एक कम्युनिटी फॉर्म कर रहे हैं जहां हम एक दूसरे से अपने डाउट शेयर करते हैं यू कैन ऑल्सो कनेक्ट मी ऑन लिंक आप मुझसे बात कर सकते हैं अपने कैरियर को रिलेटेड इफ यू आर एनरोलिंग टू दिस कोर्स पहले हमने इस कोर्स को 40 परसेंट डिस्काउंट पे दिया था बट लोगों ने कहा कि उनको ये अफोर्डेबल नहीं लग रहा है मैं चाहता हूँ ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोग इसे यूज़ करें इसलिए हम एक स्पेशल ऑफर लेके आ रहे हैं फिफ्टी डिस्काउंट के साथ यू हैव टू यूज कोड गेट फिफ्टी गेट 55 डालने के बाद आपको ये कोर्स हो जाएगा 1350 में तो मैं जरूर चाहूंगा कि आप एक बार इस कोर्स की आउटलाइन को देखें एनरोल ना करें सिर्फ आउटलाइन को देखें अगर आपको लगता है कि आपकी वैल्यू का है तो ही इसे एनरोल करें और मैं बहुत मेहनत कर रहा हूं कुछ ऐसा देने की जो आपको डेफिनेटली हेल्प करेगा आपके कैरियर में तो कोर्स लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में जाके क्लिक करें सारी डिटेल्स आपको उसमें मिल जाएंगी एंड अगर आप वो हैं जिसे इस कोर्स की जरूरत है तो मैं बहुत खुश हूँ आपको अपने कोर्स में देखने के लिए एज अ ग्रुप एज अ कम्युनिटी so see you in the course if you are interested and now back to our video see this diagram suppose a photograph is taken and uploaded on a s3 bucket don't worry about s3 we'll talk it uh, talk about it in the next module uh, it is a bucket container uh, lambda could be created and lambda could be triggered and then that particular lambda could contain a code which is about image resizing and it could resize the image for you no worries what's running behind you have to not even think of it it's it's completely serverless whatever is there it will do the job for you and then you will have a better photograph a resized photograph um, again uploaded on s3 see how powerful it is and that's why wherever there is an event based requirement or a trigger lambda should be your go to option and it it is very powerful all right guys so as a very first step you have to type lambda and click on the lambda service it will open the home page and then we will try to create a function or try to create a sample application and you can use any language as you can see uh, you have python node js every everything so we will we will have to create something first like what we want to happen and then we have to create a trigger for it okay the event so uh, we just tried running hello lambda and it's working so we'll just take python and we'll use this code for uh, running okay now we will see how lambda responds to function so all these kind of streaming analytics everything uh, you know lambda does and it responds to the event seamlessly any kind of thing mobile notification images and everything so now let's create a function we'll try to use a blueprint and uh, this is hello world application uh, let's try to select 
correct uh, platform okay so we are using we want to use python and uh, if i just scroll down okay so this is our uh, you know this is our lambda function and we want key one to be returned okay just understand if you don't know the coding don't worry just see that it is defining a lambda function which will return key one uh, event key one okay whatever event has been uh, you know key one event will be triggered then this particular application code will run just think of it like this okay we'll we'll give a function name my first lambda for example and uh, then we'll create a function that's it okay so we want to return an event which is key one and then for that we will have something which will happen okay some sort of uh, uh, application workflow will work so this is our lambda which has been created now we have got this lambda function now we have to create an event now we don't have an event right now so we will create a sample event okay we will configure a test event and we can give a name uh, any name for it okay any name for it and uh, this event will then trigger the function okay we also always need a trigger as we have said it is an event based so in our return time it was key one which was uh, the actual event okay so we are triggering here hello cloud learners okay this value should not be returned obviously because uh, we in the code uh, itself we have only returning key one you can rewind the video and see if you are not very clear okay now we will save it this is our event now we will click on test because we do not have our live environment we'll just click on test and it's just triggering and the response you see hello cloud learners that is the response this response is based on the event so in in our case our event our event was that we wanted to trigger a function okay now if we want we can integrate it with s3 bucket as well okay if we have a use case where we want to pick up anything from s3 then we can create that as well okay uh, there are multiple options of uh, what you want to use lambda could be used with pretty much any service any service okay because in every service you will have event based uh, functionalities which needs to be configured all these all these which i am scrolling down can be taken as a trigger source okay now we can also create a destination like after the event so in our case we had no destination we simply echoed the message of the uh, of the trigger itself okay we we simply said hello cloud learners but you could also have a destination like for example if something runs successfully send an email notification to all the users and that can be done using sns simple notification service which is another service of aws okay so this is this is lambda guys and in a very simpler way i have explained you lambda but you can think of numerous use cases numerous use cases which can be uh, uh, which can be used and which can be developed using lambda but as a very simplistic view you can create a function see in this case we didn't do anything one important thing is if you go to the configuration tab you can configure everything here okay right now we do not have much to configure because we have simply used a sample function but uh, in in cases where you will have your trigger separate then you will have your destinations and everything configured you will uh, do that from the configuration tab and the test tab will always have that you can trigger you can test uh, using different triggers then you can go to monitoring and you can see the metrics how your function is uh, performing or behaving so that is another uh, another thing you need to keep in mind right now our job has been successfully executed you can see here 
then uh, these are the logs uh, like what kind of uh, execution has happened we can go and we can see and this will show you everything okay this will show you how how this is uh, being tracked in the logs and then these are traces which are not yet enabled so that won't uh, that wouldn't work so yeah very good uh, service and this brings us to the end of this uh, demo and uh, i hope uh, you okay another important thing is dashboards you need uh, this this dashboard will give you how many invocations uh, the this function is making and how it is being used you can track everything using uh, uh, using this mm -hmm.